A hot topic in the world of energy efficiency is usually our value, but today I want to talk about air tightness because I think air tightness is as important as our value, maybe even more important. These are just a few things that I've learned over the years building. Now I've been building ICF structures to the trusses for over 10 years now. What you don't realize is how much air a house loses. So even on today's standard, a conventional built house, like concrete basement, wood frame above, our building code right now is 2.5 air exchanges per hour. So an air exchange is basically the total volume of that building. You'll lose that natural draft two and a half times every hour. So you got to think about, okay, whether you're in a hot climate or a cold climate, you're conditioning that air to make you comfortable. And if you're losing all that air, that's just money out, out of the window. That's carbon out of the window. Now, how do we build a, a structure that's more airtight? So here's a chart that I built. Now this is comparing real data from an ICF build versus our standard run of the mill conventional builds. So this house, this ICF house achieved a 0.23 ACH or air exchanges per hour. So a whole bunch of math later and a bunch of numbers, it, this house only loses 147 CFM of air. So that's 147 cubic feet. Now, when you divide that out, that's 0.23 air exchanges per hour. So passive house spec to meet that one specification of theirs has to be 0.6 air exchanges. So we're not quite three times better than that. Like I said before, a standard home is 2.5 air exchanges. Now the, the houses now that are built nowadays are actually pretty airtight. So you can, you can think about all the houses back in the day that are they're four, five, six, seven air exchanges per hour. So when you're looking up the chart, just look at the total amount of CFM that you lose every hour. It is absolutely mind blowing that you can take an industry standard house and it still loses and still quite drafty. So that's a ton of conditioned air that you're losing every hour. And so sometimes I actually just wonder like, why isn't ICF more popular? It's obviously has the stats. And what's, I think what's the most important thing about it is we've achieved these high airtight values with really no extra added labor or attention to detail, right? I know people who have tried to build a passive house spec and didn't meet their tightness because with the old school wood frame and vapor barrier system, it's very hard. And there's too many transitions between concrete and floor and walls and doesn't matter if you stagger stud or not. There's just too many random things going on. With ICF, if you go floor to ceiling, you just have this continuous insulation and that's the best and easiest way to achieve that air tightness. I made a video about how, how to actually just some of the details like under slab, truss connections, but believe me, it is so easy to achieve. That house with the 0.23, we didn't even try. We, we tested after the customer moved in. We actually went to another house right after I phoned the client and said, hey, we're doing a blower door test. Can we come over and test yours? Yep, come on over. We plugged the blower door in, boom, boom. And it was a 0.42 air exchange per hour. And that, that house is a few years old and we're like, let's just test it for fun. So I don't understand why people are trying to take an old system and make it more energy efficient. And when you do, you start adding extra layers of material and all this extra labor. Whereas like with ICF, it's, it's like four or five steps in one. Super too easy to achieve. We're not spending a whole bunch of diff all this money on different specialty products that get shipped all over the world. Like it, we shouldn't overcomplicate it. It's super simple. If you want airtight and something energy efficient, ICF is super easy to achieve. And if you want extra R value, the stuff behind me is R24, which is fairly standard. Well, most block companies make it R34, 35 block. It just has thicker foam, boom. No extra labor to install that extra insulation. So anyway, that's a wrap on the video. I hope those things help. I have tons of information about energy efficiency, ICF construction on our channel. So check us out there. Thanks for tuning in.
No, well, I don't want to. I don't want to say that because I'm not an expert. But I mean, you're kind of an expert. <laughs> well, I'm not like I don't have a bunch of science bullshit. But like I'm just like a pra- I just come at it from a practical, mm-hmm. simple physics mm-hmm. standpoint, right? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I don't know what it is. Like, people are like, oh man, RCF. It's just like, dude, it's 10 times more airtight. Yeah. Like, it's a no brainer. Yeah. It's like me when I dance. Just like, <laughs> just like, that's why I'm a carpenter. It's just like a two by four. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs>